The year is 1984, and a child is born in London. He's curious and adventurous, and perfects photo ops at a young age. Harry was a very uh, a mischievous little child, a very spirited, um, happy child. He was always up to no good. He's also third in line to the throne of the world's largest monarchy, but will likely never be king. His mother even referred to him as the spare. There was William who was the heir, and there was Harry who was the spare, which was told as a joke, but perhaps not always quite so funny. Joke or no joke, this would come to define the little boy's life. But for now, he lives as normally as he can, until his world turns upside down. Breaking news. I'm Jim Clancy, the CNN Center. Britain's Princess Diana has been killed. The Mercedes in, in which crash. Diana was riding. Mourners have also gathered outside Buckingham Palace. She was one of the most popular members of the royal family. All around them, people were weeping and wailing, but they, they maintained a sort of what we call in the UK a stiff upper lip, but they were probably screaming and hurting inside. And indeed, they were. But the 12 year old prince bottles this up for the time being. It's 2005, and the playful child is now the partying prince. I was basically writing stories about a very angry young man, a very reluctant royal. That young man tries to find himself by beginning his military career, but he stumbles along the way. I had to ring the palace. Hello. I told them I had a picture of Harry in the Nazi outfit, and we were going to run it on our front page the next day. And there was a very long pause on the phone. That photo soon erupts into a media frenzy that consumes the 20-year-old prince and his very private family. But he learns a lesson. Harry issued a written statement, it was a poor choice, and I apologize. And before long, becomes Captain Harry Wales. He goes to war. He leads a troop of 11 men. And all of this leaves a lasting impression. Over the past eight years, I've witnessed the whole cycle of life-changing injury. I can only begin to imagine how challenging the journey of recovery is. Welcome to the Games. Welcome to Invictus. The year is 2016, and the prince, he's been busy. He champions charities now, focusing on HIV and children and mental health. The first 28 years of my life. Never talked about it. He has new friends. Prince Harry, remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. And he meets a girl. There's no doubt that this was a romance that was love at first sight. His Royal Highness has had other love interests in the past, but this one's different. He's met a soulmate. She will have to rein in a little bit because what she was able to do stateside as a single person she won't be able to do as a member of the royal family. But uh, she's got a good teacher. Harry's a good teacher. Harry's a good man. He'll be all right. He'll be a good husband. He'll be a good father. And he'll continue to be a credit to the United Kingdom. 